Just because Any town There ain't nothing new We all stick around Cause they all tell us to Okay, let's get to the lesson Of One Horse Town by Blackberry Smoke this is a great tune, a new, fairly new tune, last four or five years, uh, Southern Rock, great Southern Rock, which we've missed for many years. Um, this one is in the key of C, and uh, we're going to run over the, uh, the chords, I'm going to run over the strumming pattern, and then we're going to run over the signature intro, very, very straightforward intro for those who wanted to learn the signature lick or riff. Um, it, or if you don't, you can just drum into it. So um, we're going to learn the chords. First, I'm going to show you the chords and uh, then we'll move on from there. If you like what you see, Please subscribe to my channel, Six String Guitar. Uh, hit the like button and hit that notification button. It helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Anyway, let's get to the chords. So the first chord we're going to show in there is your A minor. And your A minor is like this. <clears throat> and you will see the uh, chord diagram on the screen for your fingering. Um, so how my chord diagram works, uh, number one is your index, number two is your middle finger, number three is your ring finger, and four is your little pinky. So um, first of all, we'll start with the A minor. And the X, if you see any Xs, that means the string, you don't play that string. So the very first chord is A minor. And that's how you play an A minor. Uh, refer to the um, the diagram on the screen, and you do not play uh, the uh, the low E string, the top string, the thickest string, and you strum all five strings. So that is your A minor. Then you're gonna do a G. Um, I normally play my G like this with starting off with my uh, middle finger on the fifth of the second fret and so on then my ring finger on this on the sixth string of the third fret and my little pinky on the uh, first string of the uh, first of the of the third fret sorry um, but if you are so inclined you can play it this way in this song if you want you start off with your your index finger on the um, fifth string of the second fret and your middle finger on the sixth string of the third fret and your ring finger on the first string of the third fret whichever way you want to do it and you strum all six strings the the next uh, chord is a D minor and the D minor is played like this. Again, refer to um, the diagram there. Um, you're not going to play the at least the sixth string. Um, normally, how I do it is I play the last four strings down because this fourth string is the root note of the chord, and that that open string is a D note, so. It is, it is the root, and I normally do it that way. You can strum all five strings if you want. That's totally up to you, so you can do it either way. So that is your D minor. And then we're going to do the dreaded, dreaded F chord. 
and everybody dreads. And I'm gonna I'm gonna actually show you the the F chord because a lot of people do have uh, some issues with that chord. Um, so what you do, you take your index finger, and on the first and second string of the first fret, you're gonna bar those two. Then you're gonna take the middle finger on the third string of the second fret. And then you're going to take your ring finger on the fifth string of the third fret. And then you're going to take your little pinky right underneath on the fourth string of the third fret. Normally what I do is I bring my hand up like that. So you can get your fingers perpendicular with the strings. Uh, and in this instance, you only play the five strings. You do not play the low E string, and you strum all five. Now you could play the F with the bar chord like that. So the only thing difference in that is you would bar all of the strings on the first fret. But you don't have to do that with this song. Actually, I've watched him play, and he normally uses this shape of F. So we're going to move on to the C chord. And um, the uh, C chord is, this is the way I want, to, want you to play the C chord. Um, we're not going to strum uh, the uh, sixth string in this one either. We're going to just play all five strings. And again, you will see the uh, diagram on uh, the screen for the C chord as well as many other chords. The only other chord in this song is your E major chord. And this is your E major chord. Um, and you strum all six strings, and it sounds like this. Um, I will just go over that one very quickly. Um, it's your index finger on the third string of the first fret. It's your uh, middle finger on the fifth string of the second fret. And on the fourth string of the second fret is your ring finger. And that is your E chord, E major. Um, so that is the chords for One Horse Town. And we're going to get into the strumming pattern of this song. So the strumming pattern is down, down, up, down, up down up four four time and I've watched him play and it seems like he does alternate sometimes but if you want to keep it straight and the same strumming pattern it would be down down up down up down up so it's so it's and I'll just play um, a chord down down up want to just mute your strings put your hand over it you can go down down up down up down up down down up down up down up or just the motion of your hand is down down up down up down up on on the um, the uh, the intro you're going to do this you're going to you're going to do this. So you're going to go open on the fourth string, second on the fourth string, then open on the fourth string, second on the fifth, and then open on the fifth. And then you're going to strum into the A minor. Then you're going to do the, the same signature lick, but you're going to end a little different because you're going on a C. You're going to go open on the fourth, second on the fourth, open on the fourth, second on the fifth, and then you're going to. It sounds a little off that way. It really do to me, my ear, but so. And then you're into a C chord. And then you're going to go back and do back to the A minor. So it goes around twice. So here, so here it is. So 
Well, that's how it should sound. Um, one other little thing I do, uh, if you want, and I've seen them do it on their, um, their original um, um, video. Um, on the end, they put their pinky on the fourth string of the third fret, and you get that suspended chord. If you want, if you wish to do it, so it goes. Yeah, right here. And then back into that riff again twice. If you wish to do it that way. Uh, you don't have to do it. I've watched him do it on the, uh, like I say, the original um, video. Um, and it do uh, add a little bit of, um, just a little bit of nice, uh, that extra note for the listener. Uh, but if you don't have to do that, like I say, if you don't want to, you can just stay on the C. All right, so we're going to get into uh, the verse. And um, the verse starts off on a D minor. And um, I'm just going to... I'm going to strum it first, and then we'll break it down uh, with the words. And here's how it goes. Here's how it sounds. So that is um, the verse, and you can probably uh, hear it in your head, the melody, and sing along with it. So um, let's talk about it. Uh, so I'm going to kind of just sing the words for you, and um, I'm going to try and slowly and, and try to tell you the chord changes and so forth. So uh, it starts off, like I say, on your D minor. So in the tiny town where I come from, if you grew up, see, doing what your daddy done on a G, and you don't ask questions, you do F just because, see. And if you wanted to add that suspended, they do do it. I go. Then you're back to the second part of the verse. You don't climb D minor. You don't climb too high or dream F too much. See, with a whole lot of work and a little bit of luck, cheek, you wind up D minor right. That's the uh, the progression uh, of the uh, the verse or the verses. There's two verses in the song, and it's the same progression. So I'm just going to do that again for you, so you can get it, and then I'm going to speed it up, uh, and we'll move on to the chorus. Uh, so it goes in the tiny town on a D minor on a tiny town where. Questions if just because Demar, you don't climb too high or dream if too much with a sea line work and a little bit of luck. Gee, you take Demar and wind up back to where. So 
that's how that goes. Forgive me now for not getting all the words because when I slow it down, of course, I, you, you kind of lose the flow of it sometimes. So now we're going to get into the, um, we're going to get into the uh, course. And the chorus um, starts off on a, a minor. So um, starts off this little bitty town. So um, you can start just with the A minor, or you could also lead in with um, with that little intro riff if you wanted to. Um, I won't put it in there now, but I can probably show you after. So it goes. This little bitty town A minor There ain't nothing new If Cause we all stick around and see Cause they all tell us to G E Swallow your pride A minor Just to make your family proud I didn't think G would shut the whole place down If I'd ride my pony ride out of this one horse town Yeah, this one horse town to see So that's that's how the uh, chorus goes. Um, so you could, you could, uh, on the uh, first of the chorus, you could go like that intro riff. It goes, Bitty town. There ain't nothing new. And so on. Follow the, uh, the intro. Again, you don't have to do that. I seen them do that in the uh, the video that they do live. Um, it's a little different from the actual uh, CD recording, uh, but um, that's what I've noticed and I've I've watched. Um, let's look at the um, the chords once more. Uh, and I'll start and I'll try to um, say the chords and try to sing it uh, at the same time. So um, it starts off on an A minor with this little bitty town. Um, and on town, the A minor comes in there. So here we go again. This little bitty town, A minor. There ain't nothing new if We all stick around and see Cause they all tell us to G E Swallow your pride A minor Just to make your family proud See If I didn't think G That I would shut whole place down if I'd ride my pony ride out of this one horse town yeah this one horse town so um, when it gets to I ride on my pony ride out of this one horse town on the if you're just going to do a strum strum on that and then you're going to do a strum one strum on the g and then you're back to uh the a minor so i'd ride on my pony one strum on the f right now on g this one horse town and you're back in repeat Oh, this one horse town. And you can put that suspended note in if you wish or not. 
uh, with the pinky and the fourth string of the third fret just for one I think it's up strum there um, so then it goes into uh, the uh, second verse um, about I'm an old married man at the age of 23 um, again it's the same progression as the uh, first verse so I'm not going to go into that um, you can certainly um, just try to remember go over the first verse as much as you can you can loop it here on YouTube to loop it and just keep uh, the chord progression and once you get it um, you can move on to the uh, second verse again if you think that you want me to go over all of the verses in songs I will certainly try, leave the feedback there, I'll certainly try, but I'm trying to minimize the amount of time of the videos because they tend to be uh, in the half hour range uh, as we speak now, as I'm cutting this thing out. Um, and then it goes into, um, it goes in, after the, um, after the um, the second verse, it'll go into uh, a little instrumental if you want, and you can strum the instrumental. It's the same as the um, same as part of the uh, verse, half of the verse, right? Uh, I'm not going to get into the instrumental or the solo, I should say, in this particular in instruction video today. We might look at that another time. Uh, and another video if if you want to uh, if you so request or wish to uh, for me to do that I'll do that in another video leave a comment down below for a request of that and I will certainly try my best to uh, get that worked out and uh, in another video um, so if you just wanted to strum through the um, the uh, solo it starts on the D minor um, so it starts up. And then it goes back into the, to the chorus in this little bitty town. Back to the A minor. So it's, it's just the first half of the uh, progressions of the uh, verses. So it starts on a D minor, like I say. So I'm just going to try to um, try to uh, sing out the uh, chords. And uh, you can actually listen to their, uh, their video online. And you can see him. He's doing it on an acoustic guitar, uh, the solo there. Um, so it starts off on a D minor. So it starts... E minor, F, and C. This little bitty town it goes back into the chorus again for twice. Let's talk about the end. So when the uh, the second time around on the chorus, he just kind of sings. Um, so I saddle my pony right out of this one horse town. So he's only doing one strum on each chord. So he's doing, he's starting on the, um, the D minor. And you, he just goes, I saddle my pony right out of this F one horse town. And that's how it ends. So we'll just try that again on the D minor. I sell my pony right F out of this one horse C for town. And that's how it goes. So if you have any questions, by all means, um, by all means, uh, reach out. Um, in the comments I'd be happy to help um, if you like what you see 
please subscribe to my channel. It really helps the YouTube algorithm as well as hit the notification button for any new videos that I post weekly, um, as well as the like button. Anyway, until next time, keep picking and have fun.